Welcome to Revolutions, the show where we get into the details of the gear industry. I'm your host, Randy Stott, and today I'm here with Marcus Broom of the Pitler Company. Marcus, Hello. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Today we're going to talk about the uh, skiving process. Yes. And then the first thing I would like to know is, what are the main features of Pitler's new skive line on the scene? Yeah, the skive line machine is a, yeah, a design we made many, many years back was based on the PV315, a machine that was equipped with a Y-axis to be more flexible in the turning process to use multi-tools. And when the skiving uh, process received in gear technology a new, I would say, revolution, mm -hmm. uh, we decided to make use of this Y-axis for skiving. And the problem is, in general, that new products require that maybe not only the skiving is unique, it's also the turning process to achieve a good run out. And that is what makes the Skyfline a very, very unique product in the market because it enables skiving technology in combination with turning, with other processes. And of course, with the tool changer, we can also make use of high productive roughing tools in combination with, uh, yeah, I would say, finishing tools. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned a few processes. How many different processes can be combined with the machine? I think any. Any that requires a turning machine or a multi-purpose machine. So we have an approach where we say we have a standard machine interface, like NC programming is what you need to establish a process on the machine. So the operator can decide if he needs to drill a hole that he applies a drilling operation to the machine. He can do pointing, he can do also shifter stop milling, he could also do some uh, grooving operations, general turning operations, so this is all possible. So I would say every tool that fits in the tool changer can be used and we can use this also for the machine. Mm -hmm. How are these machines different from other options on the market um, compared with other dedicated skiving machines or even with other multifunctional machines? I mean. Skiving machines you find on the market, some come from typical machine tool providers for uh, gear machines. And in this case, the gearing is in the center of mm -hmm. the approach. For us, we talk about general machining operations that are needed for parts that have a gearing. So it's not that the gearing itself is always in the focus. It is maybe also the grooves or the uh, holes for the lubricant. And so we have uh, a different, we came from the opposite side. We were turning mm -hmm. machine tool provider and now we dig into the, uh, I would say, field of gearings. Mm -hmm. And yet the skiving process originated with Pitler. Yes, right. Willem from Pitler was the one who invented it many, many years back. Mm -hmm. But of course, we had to learn it once more of course. some years back. Is the Skyline machine uh, designed for high volume production or for job shops or both? Uh, I would say in the beginning, it was more for medium and smaller size production. But the idea of inventing the uh, Skyline was to be able to scale it up to high volume production. With the internal swivel loader and the shuttle we implemented, we can combine this machine to any different kind of automation system. And so we have applications in the field where the machine is only for small batch and medium batch production. But we have also some applications where it is just machining one single piece in high volume 24 hours a day in maybe seven days a week. Mm -hmm. Are there any other ways that you work to incorporate automation? Of course, we have, for example, the chance to um, make use of robot cells in combination with the Skyfly machine. We have also a DBS integrated automation system with maybe also some measurement equipment inside like a double flank testing machine. Mm -hmm. Or we can also offer a solution where we have just a chance that the operator loads the machine manually by placing a workpiece on the internal shuttle. By that, the machine is almost as uh, productive as with the automation system but it is more flexible and that's what we uh, try to achieve so it's a good flexible solution are these machines capable of hard skiving they are capable for hard skiving um, we started with this uh, development uh, 12 months back mm -hmm. uh, and we have the, equipped the machine with a gap finding sensor 
And by that we can align the position of the tool to the workpiece itself so that we have an accurate centering. Mm -hmm. With the internal inspection machine, we can measure the stock we removed from the flanks on the left and the right uh, side. And by that, we can also optimize the stock removal on both flanks. Mm -hmm. can, can that hard skiving process be used to replace grinding or other finishing processes? Yes, it can. Our idea is, of course, for ring gears, internal gearings, the grinding process is very, very slow. Mm -hmm. So the DVS group offers with the internal honing process already a very high productive process. Mm -hmm. But the skiving process is then a good additional approach if the stock is big, if we have to remove higher stock. In this case, the hard skiving process is something we also use on the power skiving machine. And also it is an alternative for hard approaching, for example. Mm -hmm. How do these machines help uh, achieve final part quality? What are some of the things that are built into the machine? The very important thing is it's not only the tool, it's not only uh, the machine itself, it is mostly also the combination with the right fixture. Mm -hmm. For OP20 operation in green condition, we usually use a diaphragm chuck. What leads to low deformation of the workpiece in clamping uh, situation because if we deform the, uh, the workpiece while we machine it, mm -hmm. of course the quality is poor. So at the end it is the idea or the understanding about tool, machine and fixture to achieve a good quality and that is what we can achieve on the, on the sky plan. Mm -hmm. Is there any kind of a closed loop system where there's feedback given back into the process? It is. Of course, when we have a double flank inspection machine in the automation system, we can, for example, compensate the uh, thermal growth of the machine by checking the du uh, double flank and the, the uh, distance over bolts. Mm -hmm. And we have also for setting up the process an internal measuring probe equipped in the machine where we can also measure distance over bolts or the uh, lead. Uh, mm -hmm. of the of the gearing and by that we can also help the operator to get quickly to good quality very good so which types of gear manufacturers should be considering this this equipment i think everyone who wants to change the philosophy of producing gears okay it is for people or for customers who want to shorten production chain mm -hmm. so we produce generally on skyline machines gears in green in two clampings from a forged blank to a finished part that is ready for heat treatment. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have shortened in some applications the process chain from six different steps to two different steps. And that is, I think, a very important thing. Of course, when the lot sizes get smaller and smaller, process integration in one system is very interesting. And that is, I think, the home turf of the Skyplan machine. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to share with our audience about the machine? I think you can visit us in our booth. We have a Skyfly machine in our booth there and we can show you flexible processes over there and we would be happy to welcome everyone who wants to see that. Very good. Thank you, Marcus, for joining us today. Thank you, Randy.